Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your Emperor, Comet Man 97. Um, I'm here to formally announce the annexation of the Mexican Empire and also the territories that would correspond with a Cuban state as formally acknowledged by past map Empire Powers maps. Um, the Canadian Empire will have possession over these territories and administrate them until which a Mexican state is formed and joins the Empire Powers. Same will apply to the Cuban territories um, upon which those territories will be transferred to a Cuban state upon which that is formed and joins the Empire Powers. On another topic um, in recent events, the Canadian Empire has been embroiled in a sort of slander campaign. It sort of died recently, so there's nothing to be concerned about. Even then, the people who were involved in this campaign are to be ignored because, while well, their toxic behavior and actions has um, gained them a violation of the League of Terrified Nations Constitution. Um, it is our solemn respect to issue a apology to Jedi David as, um, I believe a misunderstanding may assist. Um, we blocked you because the organization that you are a part of is in violation of the LTFN Constitution. Um, now, of course, this does not mean we have terminated our friendship. It means that as punishment, your your faction and the people who are in the White Springs Concordant will be blocked alongside you. Um, once these things have been removed from the Constitution that are in violation of our constitution, then communications will be re-established and normal diplomatic features will be made, except the new enclave, which is in violation of not only by the constitution of the organization that's a part of, but by its own personal affairs, it has earned itself the status of an unrecognized state also. So, I formally apologize to Jedi if this has left you unhappy or otherwise bothered. Same would apply to any other member of the Concordat. But we we give our deepest regards and sympathies and wish all of you and the Concordant the best of luck. That even includes the new West Virginia Republic, which we have not been on the goodness of terms since ever. So, good luck to you all. And I hope that this grievance can be put behind us in the case of Jedi and um, the uh, Maggie Sphere. But as for the other two factions that we know of that are a part of the organization, the New Enclave, the New West Virginia Republic, um, other violations will keep them, keep their status permanent until. Um, fundamental behavioral changes uh, occur within the leadership itself, which is unlikely to occur, given that it is within their nature to be as they are. But we issue our deepest respects, and we hope everything can be resolved in time. That side, the Canadian Empire will be continuing to work tirelessly on recruiting more members and preparing for our future. We still require resources, weapons, and armor and quantities. Some things we don't have access to yet, but we're trying and en enjoying the game at our own pace. We're not here to compete or cause conflict with fellow clans, but we will act within our interests along with the interests of the inhabitants of the wasteland. It is our hope that the Canaan Empire and the inhabitants can work side by side for the betterment of all mankind and continue 
um, quest to restore um, order, law, and the order, and prosperity all throughout the wasteland, whereby everybody can cooperate with one another and continue on our quest to build a better tomorrow together. Uh, those of you who are interested in carrying out the Empire's mission, feel free to send me a friend request on PlayStation or contact me through any corresponding communities as I have my f messages locked out to anybody outside of my friends list due to a uh, some past issues with hackers knocking um, hacking some people so many people within the follow community have had their settings sort of altered so that this won't happen um no um but that is everything this has been your emperor comment man 97 signing off